I am so glad that you are here today. I hope you are doing well. I hope you slept well last night. As you could tell, I am wearing my new tie-dyed sweatshirt. I love how it looks. I love how it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoy doing that activity with me. It's a lot of fun and I'm enjoying wearing my new sweatshirt. Let's get started with our morning meeting today. So let's start with our calendar. Our W is circled because we know that today is Wednesday, April 29th. 2020 repeat after me today is wednesday april 29th 2020 one more time today is wednesday what month april what number 29 says 29 2020 very good let's move on to our days of the week so as you can tell our arrow is pointing to wednesday because we know that today is wednesday if we look right above wednesday we see this word this is what day this is Tuesday, yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. Very good, let's sing our song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Very good, let's do that one more time. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yay, you did it! Good job! You guys are getting to know our songs so well, and I'm very proud of you. Let's move on to our months of the year. Our arrow is pointing to April because we know this month is April. If we look right above April, we see that last month was what? Last month was March. This month is April. Next month is May. Let's count how many days we have left of April. It's the 29th. This is pretty easy. We could count this. Ready? One. We have one day left of April, then we see that it's May. So after tomorrow, I'm going to change the calendar. It will say May, and then we'll start all over again. So we have one day left of April, two days left until May. So that is super exciting. Let's sing our month of the year song. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Let's do it again. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Very good, boys and girls. You guys are doing awesome, and we are moving right along. So let's go ahead and move right on to our numbers. We are counting to 100. We're going to count by twos today. When we count by twos, we count every other number. So if we start with a zero, we skip one and go to two. Skip three, go to four. Skip five, go to six. So we're doing every other number. These are our even numbers. Our even numbers end in two, four, six, eight, and zero. So when we count by twos, we count every other number. I'm going to point at the numbers. I want you to help me count all the way to 100 by twos. Do you think you could do it? I know you could do it. Let's get started. Let's start with zero. Go all the way to 100 by twos. Ready? Count to 100 by twos. Go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. You did it. 
Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back. You counted to 100 by twos. You did it. I am so proud of you. As always, you did amazing. It is time to look out our window and see what the weather is like today. So I'm looking out my window and I see that it is beautiful outside. I know it's really hot out, but it is also raining. Is it raining where you are? What's the weather like today? Thank you so much for sharing that with me. Now let's move on to our activity of the day. Today we are playing with Play-Doh and doing some really enriching activities that go along with it. So for our activity today, we are going to be playing with Play-Doh. Now we aren't just going to be playing, we are going to be doing some meaningful activities with our Play-Doh. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just grabbed this orange Play-Doh. Whatever color at home you have would work just fine, and you're going to go ahead and grab it out. Now, we know that kids love playing with Play-Doh, and I think it's very easy to see why. It's a lot of fun to play with. It keeps yourself busy, it keeps your hands nice and busy, and it keeps you engaged, so it's a lot of fun. Now, we could use Play-Doh to our advantage because Play-Doh is really fun to play with, but it's also awesome to learn with. So, kind of like with the shaving cream video that I made before, we could make anything out of this Play-Doh, which is why I love it. It's so versatile and it's so much fun. So I'm going to make numbers right now. There are plenty of ways that you could do this activity with your kids at home. Now, you could simply make numbers. You could tell them, make the number nine. Then they would go ahead, grab their Play-Doh, make the number nine, and show it to you. You could tell them make the number three and so on and so forth until they make all of their numbers. But it's very simple and it's a lot of fun. You could also have them do the same thing with their letters. You could say make the letter M and then they would go ahead and just make the letter M. As you could tell, this is a very versatile activity. We could do a lot with it which is why I like it so much. You could have them practice spelling their name. So for example, my name is Lauren. So I'll just roll my Play-Doh out. And I will just start with the L. Then move on to the A. And keep going until my full name is spelled out. So this is what it would end up looking like. You could also have your child do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division problems with the Play-Doh. So you could have them make a number sentence. For example, I will show you an addition problem example. So I will say, I have seven. Then your child will go ahead and grab the Play-Doh and make the number seven. And I'm adding two to it. So when I'm adding, what sign do I put? What comes next? Seven, what sign? Then they put a plus sign. Two, I'm adding two to it. So they should have seven plus two. And then you say, what comes next? Seven plus two, what sign do I put next? And then they'll say equals. And then they could go ahead and solve the problem from there. And then they would get nine. And so this is what it would look like. 7 plus 2 equals 9. They could do the same thing with multiplication, division, subtraction, whatever they need extra work on, they could practice. So again, you're just using this Play-Doh to practice working on things that your child needs help with. So it could be addition, it could be subtraction, it could be multiplication, it could be division, it could be making their name, it could be remembering a phone number. So maybe you want them to remember your phone number so you could go ahead and give them Play-Doh and have them make the numbers for your phone number. Same thing with your address. You could have them make their address out of Play-Doh. You could also have them practice some sight words or some spelling words out of Play-Doh. So if they have a spelling test or if you want them to remember certain words that they see in books all the time, like if they always see the word the in a book and you have them make a T-H-E, out of the Play-Doh and then they would practice saying the and then they would move on and do another word that they see. Maybe see, they see the word an so they would make an a and an n and say that says an. Same thing with and and so on and so forth. 
but you could also have them do their spelling words. So maybe they're practicing spelling the word goat. Then you'd have them go g g o a a t, and you could just have them simply make their spelling words out of the Play-Doh. So they're using this Play-Doh as manipulatives, and it's a really fun way to learn. So really, you could use this for anything that you want your child to get to know better. So it could be practicing something simple or it could be working on something brand new, but this is just a way to get them engaging hands-on with materials, having fun while still learning. Thank you so much for coming to Miss She's Learning Center. I hope that you enjoyed playing with the Play-Doh as much as I did. This is a very enriching activity that we could have our children do to remember all sorts of different things. So do this activity with anything that they could use extra practice with. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow at Miss She's Learning Center. Bye! Thank you so much for coming to Miss She's Learning Center. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. Once you subscribe, you will see a notification button. It looks like a bell, so go ahead and click that button and you will get notifications whenever I post a video. I post morning meetings every weekday and I post fun activities and experiments on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so you do not want to miss those, so make sure that you subscribe and turn the notifications on. Also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and share it with anyone that you think could benefit from these videos. I'm just trying to spread positivity and kindness and I hope that everyone is staying happy and healthy during these times. Have a great rest of your day.